All right, check it out. The Death Star is fully operational. We got this bad boy at the secret test facility. My place in the mountains here. Uh, I drove it for a good while to town, filled it up with fuel. Um, drives real straight down the road, no shimmy, no nothing. Shifts killer, all the gears work, four wheel drive works. I already tested that last time. Um, I'm being real nice to it since it's not mine, so I'm not going to really, really wheel it, but I do, I'm going to do some more, a little more suspension flexing, just make sure everything's clearing and looks fine under flex. Airbag systems working killer. Let's do a quick walk around in this bad boy. I'll, I'll show you. We got the, um, 20 gallon poly fuel tank in here. I got a flashlight. I'll, I'll kind of, the custom driveline, uh, two piece shortened, but we're running off of the factory mount here. You can see. Um, with a little spacer to get us perfectly in line with the tranny, nice and straight. We've got the double cart in there for the offset diff. Um, inch and a quarter of up travel at ride height. There's the big poly tank. Uh, there's the overpriced filler hose, custom plumbing, everything. I mean, a bunch of fittings you can barely see in there that were overpriced, you know, but quality costs money. They're all... Um, compression fittings and the vent new new hoses everything um as good as i could do did a slight extension on the filler neck which wasn't just about extending it it was more about just changing the angle slightly um and i'll insert a bunch of pictures of all the plumbing and the new holes i had to cut in the tank and the new fittings and modding the filler neck to get this tank pressed up underneath here real far um it was a you know but uh, considering how tight the space is, it fits perfect. We have just a little air gap in there. Um, air bags here. I'll just put in pictures of Fab in the brackets and everything. Here they are full of air. Uh, it sits, you could see, well, it's sitting here. Uh, it sits about an inch low in the back, which is exactly where I want it. If you have too much uh, with heavy weight up high and it's higher than the front when you hit the brakes hard especially coming downhill the um, Ass end wants to pass the front end. So it's actually drives a lot more stable and nicer if it's just a tiny bit proud in the front so um, That's how this thing's set up to be an inch lower in the back and that's um, I've even even on smaller vehicles if you're too proud in in the back rear high um, even my forerunner a little bit is an inch high. It's lifted uh, three in the back, two in the front. And if you jam on the brakes downhill, it, it feels a little loose in the back. So when you, it's exacerbated when you add extra weight and extra length of this long ass end here and everything. So it's very um, much on purpose the way it's stanced. Uh, let's look up. Uh, I've got the new trim to the bottom valance. Got that on grill. We need an emblem. But it's, the thing's driving and, and working great. Um, and uh, what else? We got the stock front bumper back on. Um, what else since the last one? We're still running the open exhaust because I'm going to send it to the get the exhaust done. I'm tapping out here. I'm just like been working on this thing for a year. And it's, I'm going to send it to my exhaust guy. Let's look at how the airbag system works. This was fun, a lot of work to plumb in here, um, but it's awesome. We got our gauge kit here, dual switch kit. So you hit the key on, it's keyed into the ignition, and the gauge light is wired to the headlights. It goes on and off there. Um, flip the switch on, you hear it kick on, it's behind the seat, I'll show you that whole setup. Then you can toggle left to right, um, up, down, uh, turn it on and off. Um, so that left, down, up, right control not only does um, when you're driving, if you're loaded sideways or loaded heavy, you can level it, but when you're parked for the night, you can get a good four or five inches of leveling out of it because. When you're camping, when is it ever perfectly level? Uh, here is just a little wooden box. It's a kind of a temporary box that houses um, the Viair compressor, the tank, plumbing and wiring. Uh, and then you can put in, there's an air chuck here, right on the end behind the seat. So you can plug in an air hose and fill your tires. 
Um, so um, that's how the system works, and it works awesome, and it stabilizes this whole thing. I mean, I told uh, I told my customer I wouldn't even build this thing if we weren't airbagging it. It's unsafe. I mean, I've driven one my friend bought that was already built, and it was a death trap without airbags. It was just terrifying. Um, so I'm happy with all that. The, the wooden box might be moved. That's why I didn't spend a bunch of time anchoring it and I just built a simple little wooden box. The customer might want to move it somewhere else. But all this other stuff, the airbags themselves, uh, bracketry, gauges, and wiring all had to be solidified and he wants to move those to um, the, the compressor and the tank. All he has to do is... I left everything long, so all he has to do is um, move it and then rerun a little bit longer air hose to it. Easy peasy. Um, so that's why I didn't get too in depth into mounting them uh, any certain way. So, um, and I'll insert a video of me driving it down the highway, rode through all the gears, got it into fifth gear. Everything's killer. Um, and then I'll insert a bunch of pictures too of of the build process up for the airbags and fuel system and yada yada and i'll now i'll shut the fuck up and uh this is jay booth signing off um i'm really excited about uh him driving it and then we'll probably end up maybe in a year or so hopefully putting a bumper and some sliders or something but either way it's ready to go go camping i think here over and out So I'm driving this thing, uh, no exhaust, but it's done. Airbags are pumped up, new drive lines in it. We're rolling down the road, rowing the gears. Uh, the power seems good. Body roll ain't too bad with the onboard air system. I'm real happy with it. Uh, I'll do a walk around uh, in a minute here. I'm just excited to be driving it. Great news for the flex test. I put it two wheel, it's in four low, but the hubs aren't locked. So it's actually in two wheel drive, but four low. And it just, with the extra weight in the back, just idled up this almost vert. That extra weight puts a lot of traction down. Uh, she idled up this almost steep little four wheel drive trail on the back of my house in two wheel. I'm impressed with 50 pounds of air in the tires. Went till it just touched the back bumper right here it's touching i just went till it touched and just stopped perfectly and uh she'll back right out of this in two wheel let's check out underneath real quick driveline angles happy steering's not touching uh i mean look at this baby look at this thing everything's happy airbags are happy driveline angles happy i mean I'm impressed with this little thing, man. Little 31s, and this thing is going to do stuff. So in my mind, since this isn't a full-blown rock crawler, I mean, it's built like one with the frame and suspension work, but it'll go anywhere a stock Toyota four-wheel drive would go. Um, it's lifted a little higher to get clearance for the big box on the back, but I mean, this thing should do everything a stock Toyota pickup with 31s would do. Um, and the... It's built more robustly as far as the fabrication and the axle selection and 
This thing is gonna be a um, force to be reckoned with. I'm calling it the Baja Warlord, by the way, because this is like the Baja machine. <clears throat> Hey, I wanted to uh, leave a couple last comments here with um, Toyota World Runner on YouTube is doing some cool stuff. They're doing an awesome four-wheel drive stuff. They're doing a Chinook build. My customer is actually the one that told me about them and mentioned that they were asking questions about my first video about what I was doing with this and that on the Chinook conversion. And he made me aware that they had a channel, and their channel is awesome. They're doing rad shit. And their videos are edited properly and they have way more curb appeal than my shit. Um, so they, it looks like they're doing an FJ on and with the link suspension. Probably looks like they're doing it. They already released their first video on it a couple months back. And it looks awesome. They're, I think they're going to cut. From what they're saying, I'm not sure. But I think they're going to cut and keep the FJ cab and suspension and frame and put the Chinook back on it. Maybe I misunderstood. Maybe they're doing... Um, FJ frame and putting the whole Chinook body and rear camper half. I'm not sure. But anyways, they're running the FJ drivetrain on an FJ frame. And it's it's awesome. So they have a bunch of cool stuff and their production value is better. And uh, I've been following them on YouTube, so they're rad. And then I was going to mention that I would love to... Um, uh, if anyone's wants a, a kind of a high-end one built i'd like to do one that's not on a budget as much i mean like a like a four link custom on ori struts you know on 40 inch tires slammed maybe with a motor swap too i'd love to do a 2jz turbo uh motor um on some 38s or 40s four link probably with air bags also for the back so ori struts four link with air bags just trailing arms like just fucking go off um this one i just did i'm super happy with it's like you know just as solid as you could get for simplicity um and strength and and everything but uh i'd like to do one at an even higher level um i really put my heart into this one but i mean i i'm capable of insanity uh as if somebody's looking you know um so I'd like to get another one going at some point. No hurry. I'm booked for three months out already. But uh, So I'm not even trying to plug my own business. But I'd love to, you know, I would put a lot of other jobs aside to do another long-term build at a, like a super high level. I'd also like to do one, it might not even be a Toyota Chinook. It might end up being a older Chevy, pre-smog Chevy maybe, um, where they use the truck cab instead of the van cab, like the old 70s era. Um and do that with dually turbo diesel, like a 4BT dually airbag. Um, so those are two I'm really interested in doing and would would push a lot of other projects aside to do if anyone's interested. Um, no hurry. I'll be here for another 30 years, you know, doing what I do. Uh, thank you so much for watching.